So now we want to take a look at factoring, okay, uh, where it starts off. Factoring one term, we talked a little bit about the factors of a number. Now we want to talk about the factoring of two terms. And generally what we mean is two terms that cannot be simplified. We have uh, the idea of, well, two situations can occur. There's something called the greatest common factor, GCF, or the difference of two squares, which we abbreviate as dots. What we want to do is turn two pieces that are added or subtracted into a multiplication of two things or more. Um, so the first example I'm going to start off is something like 5x plus, I'll make that 15x, plus 25. As you see, we have two terms, cannot be simplified, right, because the x doesn't allow, and so we want to turn this into a multiplication of two things. Well, as I said before, the first thing you look for is a GCF. Is there a factor that divides into both of these? Well, they both end in 5, and in fact, they both divide by 5. So I'm going to write this underneath. I can factor out a 5, and basically it's removing a common factor of 5 from each of these terms, dividing it out, all right, vacuuming it out. Okay, so the 5 comes out, and that's going to be leaving me with 3x. And for the next term, the 5 comes out of there, and that's going to leave me with 5. So, I started off with two terms, and in the bracket I still have two terms, but now it's a product of 5 multiplied by 3x plus 5. So, it is 5 is the greatest common factor, which I have divided out in front, and now it's still a multiplication. Now, a difference of two squares has a couple of, well, three very important details. Number one, it's going to have to be a difference. So the two terms will be opposite signed. Two, meaning two terms, and squares. Both of the terms have to be square rootable. So let me take the idea here of, let's say, 16m squared minus 9. It doesn't have to be an x every time. So this was m. And basically you say, do I have two terms? Yes. Is there a GCF? You should always look for the GCF no matter what. Is there a number that divides into both terms or a letter? No. So what do I do next? Okay, two terms, it's a difference. This one's positive, that one's negative. Two terms and squares. They are both square rootable. You can square root 16, you can square root m squared. For this term, same thing with the 9. So when I turn this into a difference of two squares, Basically, you're going to wind up with two binomials, and each of them is going to have the square root of the first term, starting both brackets, and the square root of the second term, ending both brackets. Right? 16m squared um, is going to square root as 4m. And 4m times 4m is 16m squared. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Now, the thing is, you're going to have opposite signs in both of those brackets. Despite the fact these two multiply to give the 16 and these two multiply to give the 9, it has to be a negative 9. Now, if you check this by FOIL, you can see, by the way, that's your answer, but if you check it by FOIL, you can see whether or not the uh, product is going to return us to the original. Well, FOIL goes first times first. So that would be 4m times 4m is 16m squared. 4m times negative 3, that's the outside multiplications, is going to be negative 12m. 3 times 4m, that's the inside multiplication, is going to be positive 12m. And uh, positive 3 times negative 3 is the negative 9. Now when you multiply it out, these two, two terms are going to cancel out, leaving you with this 16m squared minus 9, which just shows that it works. Now we could also see combos of GCF and difference of two squares in types of problems. I'll do a quick one over here. Um, that, actually, I think I'm going to leave this for you to finish. Let me give you something like um, 32p to the 4 minus uh, 50m squared. Now, yeah, you might say there's a difference and they look like they're both square rootable, but you can't square root the 32s. So first you have to take out the GCF. Your first step is going to take out the GCF, and you're going to be left with the two terms, still negative. And your second step 
is going to be turning that, so you're going to have a number in front here. Your second step is going to be turning that subtraction into a difference of two squares, so the first term will have a plus and the second term will have a minus. You can finish that on your own.